Hey everyone, this is Yashasvi. In today's session, in today's video, we'll be looking how to install uh, Linux in your Windows. So uh, I'm not gonna show you how you you know you're gonna dual boot or using VirtualBox. I'll be just showing you a method. It is called Windows Subsystem Linux, also known as WSL. Okay, I'll be showing you that method, right? So in this, uh, basically, you'll be getting a a, a prompt or a terminal that's it you won't be getting a graphical user interface in this but this this should be enough for you know uh, doing labs and stuff right so without further ado let's get started okay uh, firstly you got to open up um, windows powershell you can do do that by going to the start uh, right click on that and windows powershell as admin right and you got to say yes over here yeah and it's going to open up the PowerShell, right? Yeah. Uh, our very first step is uh, enabling that Windows uh, Windows Subsystem Linux, right? You can enable that by the following command, right? I'll be, I'll be showing you that in a moment. By this command, okay, you can enable that, okay? The command is enable uh, hyphen Windows optional feature space dash online space dash feature name and you're going to say the feature name that is microsoft windows subsystem linux okay as soon as you press enter it's going to restart okay after restarting i'll be telling you what to do if i press enter right now okay nothing's going to happen over here just it's it will say running and it's going to say that it's already enabled you know it's already enabled so the restart didn't take place but for you it's restart is going to take place okay after it gets restarted you can just you can close this off right yeah and uh, i can just open up microsoft store okay just open microsoft store okay over here just uh, in the search okay search for linux okay over here, you can go to that and click on get the apps. Yeah, you have distant, uh, different distributions of Linux. Okay, there's Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, Leaf 42, SUSE Linux, Enterprise Server 12, Debian, GNU Linux, and we have Kali. Okay, uh, out of which, uh, I'd recommend anything, and anything is fine. Um, for the pr purpose of demonstration, I'm going with Ubuntu, right? Yeah, so click on that. Uh, click on install uh, it's going to take some time to you know download and install right i just wait for it yeah okay so uh, it got downloaded and it is installing okay the installation is done right uh, i'll just launch this right now okay i'm just going to click i'm going to launch it from the start menu yeah that's the one too okay uh, so it's uh, saying installing this may take a few minutes okay Let's wait for that. Yeah, no hurry. So the main advantage of you know doing this is uh, you don't have to create a separate partition or anything like that. It won't use that much of a resource. Uh, you can you know, it is it is portable and it is easy to you know execute stuff. Yeah. So I I recommend you using this. Right. Yeah. Uh, you guys can uh, comment below if you have any uh, good suggestions, any better method of doing this. Yeah, it will be helpful. Okay, so uh, this was installed successfully. Now it's asking me to create a new Unix username. So I'll just enter my name. That is Misha Sweet, and I'm gonna enter a new password for it. it has successfully created okay so yeah th this pretty much installs ubuntu in your windows subsystem okay that is the reason it is called um, windows subsystem linux wsl okay so first things first uh, after installing you gotta do a couple of things okay i'll be just showing you that first thing you gotta do is uh, update so you can see sudo apt and update Okay, it's update. Sorry, update. Yeah. So basically, this update is gonna update all the uh, repositories that our Ubuntu has, all the links and stuff, right? That required ones. Yeah. So that we keep our packages up to date. 
so this is going to just update the links you know, update the packages names and stuff okay so to uh, up, update all the packages on your system you gotta say sudo apt upgrade okay okay it's gonna take some time yeah okay so it has successfully downloaded now it's gonna install all the packages okay so you could see the progress <coughs> Uh, for the very first time it's gonna take a little time but uh, after the first update uh, the rest of the updates will be quick so uh, update is basically done so if you want to remove unused packages you can just type the command sudo apt uh, auto remove so it's gonna remove the unnecessary packages that are the unused dependencies on all them. So this is how you do it. So this is the installation and uh, update of Windows Subsystem Linux. Okay, if you wanna quit, just type exit. That's it. So this is how you do it. So this is the basic installation. Uh, in the next video, I'll be telling you more regarding this. Catch you there.